I used to sketch as a child, and uh, now when I'm not performing, I paint bizarre portraits of people. And I'm creating one here for a final experiment, certainly the most difficult thing I've attempted. We went to a preview in an art gallery. It's very exciting to be here amongst a group of some of Britain's foremost young artists. I'm going to use this to generate a random member from the audience. Here's what I'm going to do. I will throw this over my shoulder. Whoever catches it, you throw it again over your shoulder. Whoever catches it that time, you throw it one more time. This gets thrown three times. Somebody get ready to catch. Here we go. Throw it again. Throw it again. Somebody pick it up, throw it again. One more time into the audience. Can somebody catch it. You're our guy. What's your name? Steve. Steve, give me a beer. Hold that. Come through here with me. This painting has been covered throughout the whole party. No one knows what it is. Now, I've been obsessive about this. Not even our film crew know what this painting is. But you, Steve, are going to tell me what the painting is. You just won't know how you know. All right? Now, listen very carefully. All I'm going to tell you is that it's a painting of a celebrity, a famous person. It's, it's a caricature portrait that I painted myself. Now, listen very carefully. I'm not going to tell you if that person is dead or alive, not even whether they're male or female. All right? What I want you to do now is just to get a name in your head, to think of a name now. Okay, don't say what it is, but tell me if you've got one. Have you got one? Yeah. Sure? Sure. Okay. Now, for the record, all right, that free choice you just made in your head was a free choice you just made then, right? You weren't asked earlier on to pre-decide on a name or write anything down or make any decisions earlier on. True? True. Definitely. All right. Nobody here could know the name you're thinking of right now. You might. How would I know? You're a mind reader. Absolutely. But there's really no way I could know, is there? Seriously. No. No, okay. And genuinely there isn't. There is no way I can tell you what you're thinking of right now because it doesn't work like that, all right? But what I can do is plant an idea in your mind and then I should be able to see when you pick up on the idea that I'm giving you. Okay. All right? You won't be aware of it consciously. Put your hands by your sides and just go with this, all right? The name you're thinking of now is not it. I want you to change your mind and think of another name. You got one? Yeah. All right. Keep your eyes open as you do this, otherwise I can't do it. That's not it either. Change your mind. Think of someone else. Look at me. Think of someone else. Yeah. Say it in your mind over and over again. Say the name. Say it to me in your mind. Change your mind again. That's not it. Got one? Yeah. That's it. Whatever you've got in your head, that's the one we're going to go with. All right? Yeah. Now tell me for the say. first time who it is you're thinking of, clearly. Orson Welles. You're thinking of Orson Welles. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Well, you take just a step forward. Take hold of that there. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I give you <laughs> Orson Welles. Oh. Thank you very much indeed. I was thinking of Woody Allen. Then suddenly I decided to confuse him, went for Orson Welles, and that's who it was. It was freaky. Unbelievable.